new survey from the French Business Council of Dubai and the Northern Emirates reveals that French companies have named the UAE as their preferred business base in the region and plan on expanding their work here this year. Most of the companies that responded to the survey said that they expected to maintain or increase investment and recruitment over the next six months and say that the Dubai debt situation has very limited impact on their business possibilities. Joining us now with more is Fabian Lucas, the director of the French Business Council. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. So um, a lot of French businesses have set up base here in, uh, in Dubai and the UAE. What type of industry is sort of like doing, doing the best, which is performing the best at the moment? First of all, I would like to tell you that we represent as the FBC, so the French Chamber of Commerce in the UAE, 400 members. Uh, that's to say 250 companies in UAE, French, and, uh, and so we are well representative of the, of the French business community because you can find 300 French companies in the UAE, all over the UAE with 50% based in Dubai. Wow. So I prefer maybe to start uh, with, the, with the sectors and uh, which seems to have suffered the most because it's always better to finish with the optimistic things. Of course. Uh, so there is no surprise that all the business linked to construction, uh, business services and manufacturing have suffered the most. Um, they were affected by the downturn, of course, like in any other community. But just for the positive aspect, uh, we, have, uh, we have the retail and wholesale and energy, uh, which are doing very well, still very well. Through 2009, the increase was significant. Brilliant. Um, and so what sort of forecasts for the, for the next six months then? What industries are you seeing, so were you forecasting to do well later this year? Through the survey we've made, uh, our, the respondent mentioned then that they are still very confident for the next six months uh, coming. Uh, they are expecting growth. Uh, the majority of our members are expecting growth in the next six months. Uh, they had a they flat growth or higher growth in the last six months, and they are expecting, all, again, six months growth in the next six months, so it's quite positive. Um, also, from your survey, it stated that um, Dubai especially um, has been the um, sort of preferred location for regional headquarters. Why do you think this is, especially after the past sort of current financial year? For Dubai, it's, it's quite easy to understand. The lifestyle is, uh, you cannot find a lifestyle like in Dubai in any other country uh, around. Uh, it's very easy, easy to find people, to hire people in this country. Um, the logistic aspect uh, I was talking about before is very important. We hear sometimes that uh, Dubai has, is 20 years before everybody, every, any other country in the Middle East uh, with the logistic. Um, and as far as they are before everybody, every other countries, uh, we can think that Dubai will, will stay Dubai. Um, so you're also launching the Leadership Club at the moment. Um, tell me more about it and what, what's its main aim? So the name is Le Club, L for leadership and E for entrepreneurship. So you have all the story with, uh, with those two, two words. Um, it has been, uh, I had, it's, it is the result of a conversation I had six months ago with uh, Lionel Rena, uh, who is the VP of Orange Business Services. Uh, so a CEO of a, a VP of a big French company um, and the conversation was about to organize the business um, in the UAE for French company to better organize the business. So the idea was to create uh, a club uh, with a senior executive of a French firm but also French executive of foreign firm just to have a network, high-level network, um, where they can share experiences, uh, when they can share best practice, and also knowledge of the big project in the Middle East. So high hopes for this year then. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Well, that's it for this edition of Inside Business. You can contact us by writing to ib at city7tv.com. You can also join the Inside Business Facebook page. But for now, from all of us on the business desk, goodbye and thanks for watching.